Fala pessoal, tudo bem? Estamos aqui de volta com mais um vídeo no canal do Mike. Chegando aqui em Blackwater. Blackwater. Deixa eu passar antes ali no. Aqui no. No Homem das Armas. Quero ver se dá para comprar alguma arma. Eu queria comprar 12 que solta tiro explosivo, mas. My the books on the table. Eu não tenho dinheiro. 5 mil rifle explosivo. Tem 3 mil. Uma pena. Rifle explosivo. Munição. Fora isso, acho que não tem. É, apesar que eu tenho umas coisas para vender aqui. As carnes. Vender tudo isso aqui, mas acho que não dá, não dá todo esse dinheiro não. E... <risos> Nem de longe. Vamos fazer logo essas coisas aqui. Vou usar. Beleza de arana. É, isso aqui não tem mais nada não. Eu acho os desafios que tem nesse jogo muito difícil de fazer, sabe? Pra, pra poder ganhar roupa, essas coisas. É, John. Engraçado que quando você tá com a fama alta, né? A galera fica falando o nome e tal. Oh, hello there. Bora. E conhecereis a verdade? Não vi. Eu queria essa M1911 aí, ó. O que você quer, Marston? Minha família. Eu fiz o que você pediu. Não, você não tem. Esse é o lugar da oportunidade. E eu te dei a oportunidade de salvar sua família e você falhou. Como eu posso te reivindicar? Marston, você é um menino público. Nós deveríamos ter te matado. Eu espero que você tivesse. Mas, desde que você não tivesse... Where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from Admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect they're really not so bad exactly what's the alternative yeah see i'll tell you what the alternative is it's not complicated it's about one man and his gun versus another man <laughs> sure civilization may be dull but the alternative mr marston is hell And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now. After the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderman to rest ourselves. Will you help us? 
Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty <laughs> speech in Edo? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Cara, o maior estado da metralhadora. Now keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Come quick, take a look at this thing. Have you seen this? It's got a gun on the back. In all my born days, I never seen this. Vamos ver aqui se vai ter alguma conversa. Dirige bem pacas, enfim. This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The army has made camp a little way outside town. Put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. <risos> Bonito o jogo mesmo. Assim, em termos de textura. É... É bem, deixa a desejar, né, hoje, mas no conjunto é bonito, cara, o jogo. Muito bonito. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. É muito ruim atirar com esse negócio aqui. Não tem precisão nenhuma. Mas vamos lá. Por que, que os homens dos do Dutch? Do... Barulho do Star Wars. Keep going. Felizmente, os cavalos. Os cavalos aqui não vão dar muito certo, não. Olha isso, como que o cara sobrevive a isso aqui? Ah, vai tomar banho, cara. O cara... 
<risos> cara, eu não lembrava como essa missão é chata, cara. É ridículo o, o, o modelo aqui de tiro da arma. Fica só pegando... em silêncio aqui galera porque eu tô prestando atenção porque é muito muito ruim isso aqui olha lá o tiro não pega cara Agora tenha passado aquela parte ali. E a verdade vos libertará. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to a student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> Now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. Man, não sei por que o John tá tá tão assim, pô. O cara já tentou matar ele várias vezes. Let's go. Caraca, mano, eu não teria dó mais não, uma, uma altura dessa. O cara... o cara deixou ele pra morrer. Caramba, do nada uns, uns ursos aparecendo. So you're the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. This is suicide. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. Hey, They said there. you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderlyn. I was once, a long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fellow you want to run with, unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave. Until those suits back there came and knocking, threatened to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after them. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange times. It's a funny business. Army, government men, criminals, with all due respect. You're telling me. Too many hands on the tiller if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys don't know who's giving the orders no more. Take it from me, mister. When we get up there, it ain't gonna matter. It'll be every man for himself.
Tomara que o, o, o Dutch não tenha um plano agora. <risos> A casa vai cair. Ou não, né? Dando aquela agradecida pra galera que tem assistido os vídeos aí. Muito obrigado. Obrigado por acompanhar esse... Este velho homem que... Apenas tenta seguir em frente. Mas por esse né? Não tem sido fácil, não. Não tem sido fácil. A idade chega, mas... Não só pela idade, né? O cansaço... É... Eu já falei tanto disso aqui no canal. Nem vale a pena falar de novo. Desânimo, né? Desânimo. Cavalo bonito. Bem bonito. Olha, ah, filho, tá com medo de descer aqui a ribanceira aí? Vambora! Ah, mano. Vou correr aqui. Não dá pra, não dá, eu pensei que dava pra descer ali. Vou correr ali, porque senão os caras vão ficar fazendo hora. Opa! A DLC. Assim, a DLC eu vou trazer mais pra frente, né? Eu vou dar um tempo de Red, Red Dead. Mas eu vou trazer a Undead, né? É muito boa, cara. Tem muita coisa legal. Você nunca, nunca acompanhou, nunca jogou. Vai, vai, vai ver que interessante os cavalos que tem para achar. Algumas coisas. Ah, não vou ficar falando não, porque é melhor deixar para quando trouxer. Mas é muito engraçado, muito bom. Calma, calma, cavalinho. Eita, cavalinho. Bom é que eu vou, quando eu che... Meu Deus, esse cavalo é muito rápido. Cara. Bom que a galera vai se teletransportar para cá. You, blow that gate open. Go, soldier. É só essa meia dúzia de gente aí, fi. Tem 200 pessoas lá. Não tá pegando a arma. Pegando. Não entendi nada. Pegar 12. bugada ali. Na hora que eu entrei a primeira vez aqui, ele não trouxe a arma, ele não pegou a arma. A 
D. Aí. Pronto. Esconder aqui. essa outra aqui que talvez eu acho que ela tenha mais dano não lembro a única coisa é que depois de tantos anos tem muito bug ainda no jogo e os caras não, não arrumaram cara bem é só ver o que que a Rockstar fez com o Red Dead Redemption Online né o 2 o jogo tá bugado é, o jogo tá tá abandonado a vírus para hacker Levanta aí, fi. Agora tem o portão. Alright. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. All right, men. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Hold them off. We need time to set the explosives. Hellfire. Marston, leave them wide open. Lord above. Do you fellas piss? Tô fazendo isso, fi. Everyone get back. Fire in the hole. Eita, lasqueira. You tend to your wounded. I got to face touch alone. Looks like it's me and you, John. You should have stayed at home. I suggest you follow me. You men really shot. Go to hell. Working for the government, John. That's all I taught you, little man. I'm a I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. You're just too blind to see. They got my family. Your family. Abigail was any man's wife, John. And Jack, he's another whore's son. Mm. Just like you. Son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> A intenção, a intenção é essa mesmo. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. Pegar aqui.
A intenção é exatamente essa, Dutch. Não é te pegar vivo, não. Esse carro, uma lanterna. Pensei que era alguma coisa pra pegar. Peraí, deixa, deixa eu ver se tem uma. Alguma coisa aqui. Algum. Não tem. Vambora. Vamos atrás do homem. E ver o que vai acontecer. Vai, John, vai, John, vai, John, vai, John, vai, John. Bora, 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 bora. Ah, cala a boca. Eu já tô, eu tô com raiva desde o 2 Desse fela da mãe Hello again, John Hello, Dutch We gotta stop meeting like this Sure I got a plan, John <laughs> Você pega esse plano e. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life. All I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Cara, para um jogo antigo desse, é muito bem feito, né? Our time has passed, yeah. Ah, eu queria ter atirado. <risos> Dá com tanta raiva do Dutch, cara. Desde o primeiro jogo. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, You've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. <risos> Os benefícios da civilização. Muito bem. Vamos voltar para casa. Esse jogo sempre tem umas músicas. Cortar caminho aqui. And I 
compass that I need Oh, he's the one He's back to you Uma pena que o Leo nunca acho que não tinha chegado a jogar esse jogo Ele teria gostado também Principalmente do 2 com eu conhecendo o Mighty Cara, o 2 é uma obra-prima, cara eu acho muita sacanagem ele ter perdido para God of War, sabe? De melhor jogo, né? Porque... É muito melhor em termos de história, né? É que foi uma, uma inovação, uma grande mudança que teve no jogo, né? Mas... Tentar pra cá, né? Mas esse jogo aqui não poderia ter perdido não, cara. Na boa. God of War, o Prinel de 2018, é muito bom também. Mas a história não chega nem aos pés de Red Dead 2. Jack! Alguém aqui? Alguém em casa? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling! You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh. I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. Don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed and no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get some God. warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learn to cook. <laughs> yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Mulher chata, né? A 
fotografia desse jogo é muito boa. Bem, vamos lá. Vá até o Jack. Cadê o Jack? Bora. Bem, agora vamos daqui até o final do jogo mesmo. Já tá basicamente no final. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. The McFarlands are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Get them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you <laughs> learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Eu não lembrava dessa parte que eles voltavam lá no no ranch Mark Farley, né? Hey Paul, what? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe to be here by yourself. Those men harm you? I know, they're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? <laughs> I know I ain't been the best father, Almost. Jack. I made You'll some do. bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. Okay. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? Well, I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change, a chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. Exactamente. So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Money's out the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. All right, Jack. You're going to have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? I'll do my best, sir. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. You can kill me.
Caramba, esse negócio de mexer com as vacas é um, é um saco. Pensei que a Bonnie ia me ajudar. Ajuda aí, Bonnie, pelo amor de Deus. Ah, the arrogance of you. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. Caraca, velho. Come on. Vai, vaquinha. Vai, vaquinha. Cara, que negócio chato que é conduzir essas vacas, mano. Vocês sabem por que existe o termo boi de piranha? É porque no, em alguns lugares, né? Se não me engano, lá no Pantanal e tal, tem que cruzar os rios que tem as piranhas. E normalmente eles sacrificam um boi, jogam no lago, pra, no, no rio, né? Para que as piranhas possam comer esse boi enquanto o restante do gado atravessa. Né? Então por isso que tem, sei lá, pô, esse cara aí é boi de piranha, né? Se sacrificar pelos outros. Vai pra lá, vaquinhas. O jogo poderia ajudar, só fazendo as vaquinhas pra lá. Só isso. Mas ah, tudo bem. Ficou assim, já tá bom. Aí, se deixar sozinha, copiar elas vão. Se eu lembrar de, na, de editar essa parte, eu coloco já chegando lá perto do, do Paraná e lá. Mas aqui não tá muito longe, não. O jogo. As distâncias no, no jogo são bem. Jack, wait there, I'm coming. You all right? Not hurt, are you? No, 
I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Volta. Vai, vaquinha. Caraca, velho. Os vacas vão ficar tirando minha, pa minha paz aqui. Vai, vaquinha, vai. Isso. É fogo que o John nunca vai ter paz, né? Literalmente. Engraçado que ele comprou e nem pagou, né? Será que ele fez um Pix? Já tinha um Pix. Nessa época. Vamos lá, vamos lá, vaquinhas, vamos lá, vaquinhas. Vai, vaquinha, vai. Vaca vira pra lá. Aí. Já tá indo. Estamos já chegando. Ah, agora que tá chegando, as vacas vão querer ficar doidas. Vai, suas vacas doidas. Vai, suas vacas doidas. Engraçado que até nessa época que... Bem... As coisas eram mais difíceis, mas... Não consigo entender, né? Como que já tinha essa questão dos ro do roubo, matança, assassino. Muito bem. E pelo jeito ainda tem mais duas missões, então eu vou encerrando esse vídeo por aqui. Já tá bem longo, já fizemos bastante coisa. O Dutch já foi para o vinagre. É isso aí, valeu, até a próxima e paz.